Learning Algebra 1. Hi, Big Bird. What are you doing? I'm trying to learn Algebra 1, but I unfortunately don't know how. Okay, let's solve n over 3 equals 46. You multiply by 3 by both sides and you get n equals 138. Okay? You solve a problem. Uh... I don't know. Go on, try it. I'll try. Okay. 10p equals 110. You divide 10 by both sides, and you get 11. How's that? P equals 11. Good job, Big Bird. I did? Good job. I did? Wow, I did good. Okay. Here comes a problem. 3x plus 2y equals 6. You solve the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Replace the y on the left and the x on the right with 0. x equals 2. y equals 3. Now I'm going to graph it. The line is in a straight line. The x and y intercept is done. Congrats to me. <laughs> um. I'm going to solve quadratic functions. You will learn along the way. To solve y equals 4x2, I make a table. Like this. And then, guess what I'm doing next? I'm going to graph it. Don't worry, I'll graph it for you, Ernie. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, look what Cookie Monster did. He graphed the problem for me, and the line made a parabola. Good for Cookie Monster. Mm hmm. Now I'm gonna solve another problem. Connecting algebra to geometry, volume. I can't do it. Big Bird, let me help you, okay? Okay. G plus 8 is the height. G plus 42G is the length. I used the formula. 2g, g plus 4, g plus 8. And I get 2g3 plus 12. How's that? You are absolutely correct, Big Bird. I am? You are correct. Hey, Big Bird. Hey, Elmo. What do you want? Hmm. Uh, let me see. Elmo wants to solve the surface area. Okay, Elmo. Okay. This is the formula for surface area. Okay. Oh. You continue to solve until you get to 2, 4G2 plus 24 plus G2. Mm-hmm. Oh. But Elmo doesn't know how. Trust me, Elmo. If you learn Algebra 1, you will be a pro at mathematics. Trust me. Let's solve another problem. Okay. Okay. 